our regularly scheduled program, How the Oprah Ate Christmas, will not be seen tonight, so that we may bring you the TV holiday special instead. You'll never see a dark cloud hanging round me. Now there is only blue sky to surround me. There's never been a gray day since you found me. Everything I touch is turning to gold. So you can cover my world with sunshine yellow each day. Hi, and welcome to the TV Holiday Special. I'm your host, Johnny, and in case you're wondering, yes, that was me that invented that brand of cat litter. Welcome to the Holiday Special. What makes it so special? Well, first of all, it is the holiday season. I'm sitting in front of a tree wearing a stupid hat. That's pretty special. Another thing that makes it special is we have a new home. We're no longer on that little uh, cable channel. We've moved to big-time broadcast TV. We're here on WNTO TV 26 each and every Thursday night at 11.30 for as long as they'll have us. So I guess that means you'd better keep an eye on the web page to see what channel we'll be on next time. Anyway, another big thing that's really good about the holiday season is giving and receiving gifts, especially receiving gifts. I love receiving gifts. I know you love receiving gifts. I love it when you send me in gifts. Send me in gifts. If you can't figure out what to send me, send me cash. That's great, too. But we have some last-minute gift items in case you're wondering what to give other folks. Paul, do we have some music for this? Paul? We don't even have Paul. That's right. That's, he's over on that other show over on CBS. But uh, we don't have a band. We don't have a band director. We don't have much of anything. But we do have a garage over here. And if you're a band and you'd like to come and perform in our garage for part of our garage band segments, call the TV hotline at 407-291-2520. You could also email us or send a snail mail or visit our web page. It's all right there on your screen right now. Anyway, back to the last minute gift items. Out of the catalog, where they always come from, I get way too many of these things, but uh, lots of times there's some really interesting things here, like this one. The first item tonight is the Tree of Light. It's beautiful, isn't it? It comes in two sizes. There's a six-foot-tall Tree of Light and a seven-and-a-half-foot-tall Tree of Light. It says that it's ideal for your yard, deck, or living room. Hold it. What's it say down there at the bottom? Lights not included. Tree of Light, lights not included. Tree of Light, lights not included. Tree of... Ah, now it makes sense to me, but then again, I am naturally blonde. If you remember on our last show, we brought you a great little item called Toilet Golf. Well, from the makers of Toilet Golf, ta-da, it's Toilet Fishing. You know what? That's the same guy that was on the uh, toilet last month in Toilet Golf. This guy either has way too much time on his hands or is eating way too much roughage. Other possibility could be that he bought himself Gift item number three, it's the refreshing portable bidet. I suppose when teamed up with the toilet fishing game, it helps you to really have almost an interactive experience. Yes, I can see it now. Arr, I can feel that refreshing spray on my cheeks. Arr! But I digress. Last item in our last minute gift items for this show. Actually, it looks like it would make perfect sense at first glance. It's the pool chip and dip set. As I think about this, there's two problems that I have with this thing. First of all, there's no way I'm going to eat anything that this guy's been sitting in. And secondly, this guy here, I know people like this, this guy here, he's the kind that would pee in the chips. He would. I, I know people like that. If you've got a last minute gift item or something else that's kind of funny that you get in the mail, or if you have a video that you've made and you'd like to have it seen here on TV, if we air it, we'll send you one of our exclusive TV Thrift Shop t-shirts. And Here's the way that you can get your stuff on. Call the TV hotline at 291-2520. You can email us at tv at weebytv.com. There's the web address right there as well. And the snail mail address. We'd love to hear your stuff. Send it in to us. With so many people traveling this time of year, we thought it would be a good idea to check out the live Skycam network. Here we are, live in Orlando right now. It's a beautiful, sunny night. Well, yeah, we know that it's really 11.35 and dark out, but this whole gag works a lot better if you just buy into the premise, okay? Meanwhile, over in Daytona Beach, they finally cleaned off their sky cam. And in Bithlow. Damn it, Cletus was out there adjusting it today. Could somebody call out to Bithlow and remind Cletus that up is the other direction, please? Oh, what's in it 
running into problem over here. Oh. Hi, right, Santa. I just can't seem to get my truck started. Oh, you got uh, a little hose over here unplugged. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gotta uh, plug that back in there. Thanks. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What you just saw was an example of them, the comedy troupe, and we're happy to have them here. Them, TV, TV, them, and them will be on TV every show. So it's kind of weird to say that and probably not grammatically correct, but uh, it's great to have you guys on board. Good to be here. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. And, and them will be part of each and every show. Oh, just gotta take this call. Hello? Yeah. It's, it's Jen of the Jenna Torches. Just a minute, Jen. Uh, we've been trying to get Jen on the uh, holiday special, so if you guys could introduce yourself, I have to take this call. Sure. Thanks. Okay, yeah, well, Jen. We are Them, and Them is a five-man comedy troupe, and one of us couldn't be here today, but the rest of us are here, and I'm Bob. And uh, I'm Will. Ian couldn't be here with us. I'm, I'm Rob, and uh, I'm going to give you to someone else now. And I'm Josh, and I'm wearing brown pants. And I'm Johnny, and I'm not wearing underwear, but uh, that's not important right now. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll be there. Okay, thanks. Uh, guys, we gotta run. That was Jen of the Jenna Torches, like I said, oh, and uh, no. we've been hounding her to be on the show, and she's agreed to do it if we can get over to Tampa in this commercial break. So okay. we yeah, really have to well, haul butt, but uh, yeah. we're out of here, so do. we'll see you guys later on the show, and uh, it's great having you guys on board, okay? okay right. We'll be back. Good luck. See ya. Bye, John. See ya. He's, he's a dead man. He's gone. Or, yeah. He's never coming back. I like him like very much. Oh. as comfortable as the Suzuki Intruder 1500 LC. A bike so smooth, so impressive, you'll want the end of the ride to be just the beginning. Cycle Rider Suzuki with two convenient locations, Orlando and Longwood. Yes, you guys, this guy's been calling me from, from Orlando, this TV geek. He wants to come down here. I'm just thinking the only way I'm going to get rid of him is just to, just to bring him down here for our party. For our party? You can't do an interview on the side? We don't let people do our party. I mean, I think he's harmless. Harmless schmarmless. We don't let outsiders to our parties ever. Well, I was thinking. I've got a new toy and uh, I think we could make him our party. Let's see what you're saying. Hey, if you want, we could take him out of the picture. All together, ain't that right, Racy? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll make sure that he never hurts anyone again. Well, I do need a virgin slave. What the hell? Sounds good to me. stage. On the other hand, though, listen to that happy music that's playing in the background right now. Nothing bad could possibly happen with such happy music playing. Uh-oh. Uh, you're on your own, geek boy. I'm out of here. Shut up! Hi! Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. I'm How Johnny, you the host of the uh, TV program. Thanks for having us over to your house for the holidays. Well, we've been uh, looking forward to it as well. Wonderful. Come on in. Well, thank you. I'd like 
thank you for inviting me. This Go is going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, what was that for? Spanking mistletoe. Oh. Have a seat if you can. Oh, here's the dinner. It's a special thing that we prepared for you. It's lovely. And since you're our guest of honor, you get to do the honors. Gee, thanks. Oh, it's so beautiful, you don't know where to start. Good head is so hard to get these days. To, uh, to good head. To good head, yes. Well, I'd like to thank Jen and the entire band for uh, letting us stop by and spend Christmas with the Jenna Tortures. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. If it's not over yet, though, we've got this uh, kind of present for you. That's for me? Oh, yeah. great. I'll just give it, up. give it a shot here. How'd you know? It's just what I've always wanted. Yeah, well... Uh, well I, I, I promised to take care of her and feed her and water her every day and... Uh, you may be taking care of you, actually, big guy. Actually, uh, yeah, well... Uh, First of all, oh, that's scary. <laughs> no, I'll have nightmares about that one. No, it's not proper to speak with your mouth full, but we're not a proper show, so who gives a rat's ass? So, uh... Now, if you haven't been to a Jenna Torture show, you have to see it to believe it. It's, well, how do you describe the show to someone who has been uninitiated to the Jenna Torturers? Um, best described a tent revival in hell. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> And there's just a little bit of everything that goes on. Uh, yeah, the new album, I mean, for people who haven't seen us maybe in a few years, the new album has a brand new sound. The show has a brand new look. Um, we, we literally take someone on a journey through Sin City, and uh, we kind of bring that alive. So uh, it's, it's, it's a real different thing. I have the CD right here, Sin City. It's in the goats. It's a, the goats. a great Goat CD. Blood. The uh, first album was very hard driving. Mm -hmm. Now this one I can uh, sense a little bit of uh, electronica in there and there's a, a variety of different sounds. Has there been like an influence that... Well, uh, I think it's just more evolved in terms of the textures. It's, it's something where um, we've, we've gone into the realm of keyboards and drum loops and we've taken a, a whole new approach to, to recording and a whole new appro approach to sound. We've really gotten down and, and, and worked on writing some good songs, trying to make the music first making the music make a statement because, you know, for, for a long time there's a lot of bands who bring a theatrical element to their show. A lot of people think, well, that's in, in lieu of being able to play your instruments or write songs, we're out to prove all that wrong. Having a strong image like the Genitor, like we do, and also presenting the, the visual elements of the show, something that we work very hard on, and I think it's just another extension of creativity in art. We also have a video. We have the Society of Jenna Torture video that we put out that really is a, it's a long form video, 40 minute film of presenting the story of uh, Sin City. And um, that's out in stores as well for the holiday season. I think we have a, a little clip from that right now. What the hell was that? Do you see what I am saying? And now what's this? Two Yentas kissing on TV? And where's the mistletoe? Oi vey, before I get any more of a glimpse, you should know Rave Reviews is next. Oi, I can
with the GSX-R750 just won back-to-back -back AMA Supersport Championships, and the GSX-R600 had the most AMA 600 Supersport victories. We weren't satisfied. We made over 20 major improvements to the 600 and gave the 750 electronic fuel injection. Now even its shadow can't keep up. The GSX-R600 and the GSX-R750 from Suzuki. Cycle Rider Suzuki with two convenient locations, Orlando and Longwood. Hey everybody, what's up? It's DJ Sandy and welcome to another issue of Rave Reviews. The DJ uh, that we're reviewing this week is uh, Andy Hughes, really good friend of mine. If you don't know, Andy Hughes started out on the beach doing college radio, then he moved to the now infamous Brassies and then the Mars. Well, currently, uh, Andy's resident icon here in Orlando and at Cafe Casablanca down in Hollandale Beach in South Florida. Uh, he's been very influential in not only mine, but as many DJs, pretty much every DJ in this town. So, enough about me telling you about Andy Hughes. Now he'll tell you about himself. Uh... I guess about my first record when I was four years old, always uh, have loved music and, and the next biggest sound, you know, like 60s, 70s, 80s, new wave music into uh, what's evolved into what I'm playing now, which is like lovely progressive house music. This is the 13th year in nightclubs. Before that I was on the radio, before that I was doing uh, fraternity parties with tape decks I bought out of pawn shops. I did weddings, Christmas parties, the whole thing. Basically put myself through college doing this and uh, just sort of stuck with it. And I listen for sounds and beats and rhythms and, and stuff like that, but as far as consistency goes, um, Dave Canalti, of course, uh, Sandy, uh, Pete Bones, I love the way he plays. As far as our break DJs go, I love the way that uh, Robbie plays. Um, I don't know, there's a bunch. But like I said, like anybody, I mean, a lot of times I try to get to the club before I have to spin and just listen. Who knows? You know, hear DJs like Terry Mullen and Scott Henry just play amazing, amazing things. <laughs> About the first single, Hydroplane, uh, and I'm getting uh, quite a bit of licensing on that track. And then Sandy Man, Beyond and Back, which Kilke picked up, uh, a bunch more. We're up to number six now, with seven more releases coming out this summer. All based out of Orlando, all Orlando artists. which is uh, probably the biggest, uh, most important promotional stunt that I've done ever, I think. I've had uh, old college roommates I haven't talked to in 12 years because they've heard that song on the radio. Trying to trim the regular nights down just to sort of keep the appearances more of a special thing, especially in the area. Just keep it real, keep listening, keep your ears open to new music. Uh, you can, if you want to check Andy here in town, he's Tuesday nights at Icon right here, and if, uh, if you want to get anything on his new label, Mapped Up, he's got tapes, CDs, and records available right here at Vinyl Frontier. So, sure to support the local me. scene, and what the hell is this? Uh, I was just going to ask you the same thing, and what happened to your hair, man, oh, anyway? Man. Hi, my name is Paul Jakowski. I'm with the uh, zoning department, and uh, uh -huh. and we're just uh, doing a random inspection, and we had some problems with the building next door, and, uh, and I, I don't understand. Is that a microphone right there, sir? And that's a wire that runs up along the inside, right? Okay, easy with the finger. I'm sorry, sir, but, but uh, we do have subsection uh, 46 slash D says that 
you can't have a microphone cable running the inside of your shirt because, quite frankly, sir, it could start a fire. And, and, and okay. we're, we're very concerned with safety here in the city, and, and we just have to be very, very careful. And, and all that, that metal stuff, I don't know, but, but that looks kind of dangerous, too. I, I'm afraid we're going to have to condemn you. Don't, don't, don't you do that again, please. Oh, we're, what's up with this? We're, I'm sorry, but by the Department and, of Public... Anyhow, get, everybody. Get condemned and, we wish you guys a happy, <laughs> safe holidays. Uh, don't forget, next month with Rave Reviews, we got Jeffy. And I don't know what to do about this guy. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys have a safe oh holidays. God. We'll see you later. I'm sorry, but that, that hat is much too close. Uh, wearing a Santa hat within four feet of a video camera, even in the holiday season, is not allowed. I'm going to have to shut this whole production down. That's it. I'm sorry. Go on. It's just this this whole giving thing. We're supposed to, to give and give and not worry about receiving. The first word that you learn is give me. Not, here you go, or how about some of this? It's always, give me. Just because I have the stuff that everybody wants. I'm chosen. That means I don't get what's coming to me? Huh? It's perfectly normal to feel this way, okay? A lot of it has to do with your job, you know? Uh, people all the time feel like there are moments in their life where they're treated unfairly by their lot in, in life. You know, I think the question is, is it affecting your, your daily quality of life? Oh, are you kidding me, Doc? No. I'm, a, I'm a walking battle of wills. Mm -hmm. On one side, I, I'm, a, I'm a giver. I have my instinct to give and to be kind to people. But then there's this deep, dark desire to want to just take and take and take. I'm getting so I, I just don't trust myself anymore. I see that our time is just about up, okay? But but what I want you to do is I want you to find safe ways to, to give in to these urges, okay? This need to possess things. And I think that once you do that, you'll start to feel a, a sense of calmness come over your entire being. Oh, thanks, Doc. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Oh. Here. What a treat. Go ahead, take them, they're Ooh. free. Oh, how does that feel? Oh, good, Doc. Yeah. Real good. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are going to be working on a new album, and uh, which uh, hopefully should be underway soon. And uh, it's going to be more of what everyone loves from the Jenna Tortures, more depravity, more sickness, more sin, all that good stuff. And a tour to follow that? Certainly. All right. Since we're smack dab in the season, how about a New Year's resolution? We're like uh, closing out the century. Uh, New what? Year's resolution, uh, let's see, perhaps uh, Peace, love, and heavy metal for all. Probably for the goodness of my own colon, I should probably stop taking so many things at my own bottom. Words to live by. How about you? Well, I think I'm going to quit spending so much money on alcohol. Alcohol is getting expensive, and I'm going to have to revert to bootlegging. <laughs> How about you, Jen? Well, me? I'm going to stop being so fucking nice, boys. Jenna Torturers have just taken control of your TV. We'll be right back.
What happened next to the Geek Boy that day became somewhat of a legend all around Tampa Bay. In the flashing blue lights all alone on the rack, with clothespins on his lips that make him go clickety-clack. Just at the moment that he thought he could take no more pain without most certainly going insane, the goofball from TV, being tortured by Jen, suddenly realized it was nothing but fiction, just strokes of the pen. And in answering the question as to what was the reason, it's really quite simple, tis the holiday season. So the moral of this story, its reason to be, is to wish you happy holidays from TV and from me. Good night.